guys. I had one of those mornings when I had kind of a rough night's sleep last night and I kind of got up late. So um, if you're having some trouble with your energy levels and getting going in the morning, this is a kind of a quick routine. Uh, this routine takes me about 10, 15 minutes. Um, today's routine I'm going to take a little bit longer because I need to really move my body a lot. Uh, but like I'll give you the basics and then I'll show you what additional stuff I'm doing today. All right, so first thing I'm doing is a breathing meditation. I'm gonna do, um, I think I've put up videos of this before, I'm doing basically uh, inhaling for six, holding for 24, and then exhaling for 12. I do 10 rounds of that, and what I do is I use my gym boss um, to help me time it. And when with the gym boss timing it, I can have music playing through the phone, so I can get a good little Zen going while I do that. So once I got my breathing done, I'm gonna do a stretch. That's just a way of getting your body moving. It's kind of a yoga-based stretch. Um, I'm getting my water in, I'm trying to get at least 20 ounces of water before I start having anything else. Let's get stretching. Okay, so got some breathing done and some movement done. Um, still feeling kind of uh, sleepy high, so uh, may have brushed. Um, and I'm gonna get outside, take a walk. So I'm gonna get laced up and get going. Take you with me. Come on. All right. Kind of a nice day out. Just walked into a spider web. Yay! This is what I mean by looking. So if you look here, it's kind of a gray day. You see some leaf change, but if you go here, look up. Oh, that's a little bit of blue. And if you spin around again, the sun is kind of coming through the trees already. So, you know, we hold on when it's kind of cloudy out. And eventually, if you look for the good, you'll find it. If you look for what's working, you're gonna find it. So, this is why I do these walks. It's kind of rough to wake up. You wake up and your mind kind of hijacks you and Thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. What's wrong? What's not going right? What do I have to do? What I have to do? You know, get out here, get a walk in, get some movement, get some breathing into your body. You can start to look for the things that are good. And of course, the more you look, the more you're gonna see. So, it's good to be out here. I'm gonna get home and Get myself some breakfast. Maybe a cup of coffee. See you in a bit. I got breakfast in front of me. I'm gonna grab some rub and then get on with my day. I still gotta edit this video. This routine usually takes me about literally 15 to 20 minutes, depending on what I, I add into it. Um, this morning, it has taken me so far an hour and a half because I keep stopping to shoot. Um, so full transparency there. When you see videos up on YouTube or whatever, there's always this kind of look like, this kind of natural flow. But really what they're doing is shot, 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 shot. The thing that's helped me this morning kind of get out of that fog that I was in when I first woke up. How can I use that to stay on my mission and to help people? I can show people, even if you're the hero of your story, you wake up grumpy and tired and underslept and feeling anxious or depressed or whatever. And it's good to have a toolbox to 
to reaffirm your mission, to reaffirm your intent. I didn't want to do any of those exercises this morning, and I certainly didn't want to film it all and then uh, and then spend whatever time it's going to take me to edit it. But it's worth it if it shows you or if it shows anybody uh, a way to break a pattern of being you know, anxious in the morning or, or depressed in the morning or just overwhelmed. And um, that's really what I'm here for. I think that's what we're all here for, but that might be my conceit. Anything you can do to reaffirm your gratitude is is a magic bullet. Uh, you really do feel better no matter what is going on if you can if you can get in touch with your gratitude. And if you can't get in touch with the feeling of gratitude, and I understand that, that does happen. Um, my go-to tool there is to do what I call thankfulness. So thankfulness to me is an acknowledgement. Gratitude is that feeling. I mean, gratitude, is there's nothing like it. When you are grateful, you are loving your life. But, but thankful, sometimes you can't. Sometimes you're just emotionally messed up. Um, and thankfulness is an acknowledgement. Even if you can't feel it, that there is good in your life. And uh, so what I will do when I can't contact my gratitude is to simply make a list of things that I say, okay, whether I feel it or not, I'm thankful for this. Like I'm thankful for this meal I have, which is nutritious and it has vegetables and it has some flavor to it. And I got a cup of coffee and, and you know, that's a lot more than a lot of people have these days. So um, what can you find? What simple things, little things can you find to be grateful for? Your next breath, you know, the, the turning leaves, anything that you can be thankful for is a great way to reaffirm and reaffirm and reaffirm your gratitude and eventually you'll start to feel it again. So that's my, my morning routine. I'm going to get this in me and then get after it. Guys, thank you so much for coming along. Um, this has helped me to, to uh, it almost feels like we're, we're, we're together and that's good for me right now. So thank you so much and I'll talk to you soon. Take care, bye. Mm -hmm.